Corner on Newstar.com. We're going to start with our stuffed sausage acorn squash. What we're going to need is one acorn squash, a prepared package of broccoli and rice mix, a pound of sausage, apples, about a half a cup to a cup of Monterey Jack cheese, and two teaspoons of crushed coriander seed. Uh, you can see that we've already prepared our broccoli, cheese, and rice mix, and we've already gotten our sausage browned up. Those are two things that you can do real quickly uh, at the same time, and then get ready to put together uh, your main dish. We're going to start with a medium acorn squash. And a lot of people shy away from the acorn squash. Uh, they don't really know what to do with it. It is a really good winter squash, and they're very plentiful right now at the farmer's markets and also at the grocery store. Winter squashes have uh, a little bit more of a rich flavor, and they're also more nutrient-dense than the zucchini squash or the yellow squash that we're used to eating throughout the summer. So I'm going to give you some tips on how to prepare those winter squashes and how to get a good one-meal, uh, one-dish meal. The first thing that you want to do with your acorn squash, because if you try to cut into it right now, it's going to take some muscle. So what we like to do, and this is a tip I learned uh, from one of our local growers at the farmer's market, is if you poke holes in it, kind of like you do a potato, and you put it in the microwave for just, oh, probably a minute or two, that's going to soften it up just enough for you to be able to cut into and not have to strain a whole lot. So we're going to do that. We've got our holes popped, and we're going to put it in the microwave. Now that we've got our acorn squash kind of softened up a little bit, you do want to go ahead and use a pretty big knife because although it's soft, uh, it still does take a little bit of a, a good sharp knife to get through it. And you're just going to kind of go around. Now remember, we're going to stuff these halves. So we want to make sure that we have a, a fairly good uh, solid surface on top. Once you get it cut through, you can see it, it does a very pretty bowl for you. And we want to take these seeds out. So we're going to just take a, a spoon. It's kind of like a pumpkin. Uh, if you've ever done a jack-o'-lantern, uh, things like that, that's what you're doing. You're just getting all the seeds out so that it's nice and cleaned out. Like I said, this is a great one-dish meal because we're going to have our vegetables, we're going to have our grains, we're going to have our meats. We're even going to add apples in, so we're going to have our vegetables, which gives us a good combination. Now that we've got that cleaned out, we're going to put our acorn squash upside down in a small casserole. And then we're going to add in just a tiny bit of water. We're going to put that back in the microwave to let it uh, cook a little bit longer. While that's happening, we're going to put our stuffing mixture together. It's time to start putting together our squash and our uh, stuffing for the squash. We're going to start by doing our apples. This is a handy-dandy little utensil, uh, if you do a lot with apples, to just go down and we're going to core it. And then we're going to coarsely chop the apples. our apples chopped up, we're going to go ahead and combine our sausage. And you'll notice we did uh, get our sausage fried up, but we have drained it on a paper towel. What we also did is we took some paper towels, put it on top, kind of mashed down a little bit to try to pull some of that excess grease. Flip it over, do the same thing again, and that gives you a lot less fat in the product. And since this is a stuffing, we don't want it to be real greasy. We want it to be more of a dry. And so that's part of the reason we did that. Other than that, we did it because it's good for us. So we've got our sausage. We're going to put in our rice. And we're going to put in our coriander. And last but not least, 
are apples. Sounds like our acorn squash is probably ready to come out, but we're going to get this stirred around really well. So you want a real even mixture because you're going to divide this up between the two squash halves. Now that we've got our stuffing prepared, our acorn squash is cooked just a little bit. This cooked about five minutes. Depending on how big your squash is, depending on how powerful your microwave is, you might want to cook it for anywhere from five to seven minutes. But we don't want it to be completely done. We don't want it to be real mushy inside. We want it to still be firm because once we stuff them, then we're going to go back in and cook them longer with the stuffing. One of the things we need to do with our squash, you notice that they're still kind of bumpy on the bottoms. Well, when we turn those upside down and have them stuffed, they're going to be kind of floppy in the microwave oven. And so what we need to do right now is take our squash out of the pan, and careful because they will be pretty hot, and we just want to make a bottom for them just by cutting off the very bottom of it so it sits right. We want to take the water that we placed in our pan out, so we're just going to dump that out. Be careful because it will be hot. Dump that out. Place our squash back in our casserole dish. And now we're ready to put in our stuffing. This does make a lot of stuffing. Uh, and so if you don't have enough room in both of your squash to use all your stuffing, put it in the refrigerator. Use it as a side dish the next day or uh, later on in the week. As long as you use it within about three to four days, you're good. So that's kind of a, a way that you can kill two birds with one stone and have uh, leftovers and be able to use those leftovers later on. The finishing touch, of course, is to top it with a little bit of Monterey Jack cheese. We're going to cover it with wax paper and pop it back in the microwave for about seven minutes. That way our squash gets completely cooked, our stuffing has time to really uh, uh, macerate, kind of ju uh, form those juices, the apples will get crisp uh, but, but tender, and we'll be ready for our meal. Our stuffed acorn squash cooked for about seven minutes in the microwave, and you can see it's nice and done now. The cheese is melted, the stuffing is all together, and this is a great one-dish meal. It covers all of our food groups, it's fast, it's nutritious, and good for you. Be sure to come back to the Food Corner, part of Newstar.com, for more demonstrations and recipes. And if you have any questions, contact the Pottawatomie County OSU Extension Office. We'd like to send a great thanks to Rock Creek Baptist Church for letting us use their facilities today. And remember, eat better, eat together.